defensive techniques for advanced boxing is what we're going to work on now. And why I don't like showing just a defensive technique without a counter is because you make a groove. If you learn how to defend and you don't learn how to counter, right off the bat, it, it ingrains the wrong muscle memory. So we're, we're going to do something, and this is a tribute to Floyd Mayweather because we love you, all right? And you're a great, you're a great fighter. We're going to show him the shoulder roll. He's going to touch here with the shoulder, rip an uppercut, snap back the chin, and then come with three. Touch. Again. Again. Let's show them how that looks now. Jab, jab. Integrating all my shots. One, two. Count. Three. Jab, jab. We're going to work an evasive technique where I'm pushing up on Dellen. Dellen's going to take me, spin me out, work a right hand and a left hook. He's in the clench here. He's going to take my neck, grab the back of my neck, spin me around, pivot, right hand, left hook. Again, we're in a clench. This is a defensive move. He's going to spin my neck around, and the body follows the head. So we're clenched up right here. He's going to take me, spin me, pivot, and come back. One, two, jab, jab the shoulder bump, execution, boom, pop, 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 jab, jab. Let's just say we were in a clinch. Mm -hmm. Jab, jab. Good, one more time. Let's just say we were in a clinch here. Nice, jab, jab. So those two techniques I showed you there, one was for a, in a tall defensive move where he catches the punch on his shoulder, and then he counters with the uppercut, and then the right hand, left hook, right hand. And the second shot was a defensive move on up and close clench contact, where you take the back of the hand on your opponent's neck and turn their head, turn their head turn their head out and counter with a right hand left hook punch.